Hi everybody, I'm April, and this is my series, Singer Stories, where my singers come and tell their story about taking lessons with me. Right, Megan? Yep. And what's that been like? If I didn't do voice lessons, I'd probably be one of the psychiest people in my choir. I'd probably never get the solos that I do have today. <laughs> <laughs> what kinds of things uh, do you do you think you improved the most in? Like, what are the most glaring things, the most important things? I've definitely improved in my high range, most of all. I used to not be able to hit any high note ever, and now I can <laughs> hit basically almost to whistle noise, I believe. That's probably the highest we've ever gone. Oh, because we vocalize up to the whistle register. Yes, yeah. we do. We have done it. <laughs> and I think when I first asked you to start singing high, you objected. You said I'm not. Uh-huh. Because Mr. Owen placed me as uh, an alto in our choir. And mm -hmm. I was just like, I sing low. I cannot sing high. I just can't sing high. Yeah. And I thought you were insane when you told me to sing. Yeah. <laughs> so I often ask altos to sing high, meaning not because I'm trying to change your part, but because I'm trying to offer you options so we can strengthen the range that you do have, but to expand the range that you have so you can do other things. Because when solos come in auditions, for those solos come, a lot of times it's higher, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And if it's higher, then, I mean, you gotta sing high. We've been doing lessons for how long? Uh, I believe this is my third year. Wow, it's a long time to be hanging around. Long time to be hanging around. Long time to be hanging around. But we're having some fun. Um, making progress and yeah we talked about this earlier i used to be one of those people how many this is confessions of the voice coach i used to be one of those people that my teachers really had to prod to get me to do the thing i was supposed to do yeah. ironically i wound up becoming a teacher but <laughs> i learned my lesson and now i pass that on to my students and so maiden tell me about that when you see improvement in your voices and your teacher, whether it's your voice teacher, your choir teacher, gives you more solos and they tell you like you are improving and you can hear it in your voice when you go from not being able to reach high notes to being able to belt them. It's mm -hmm. very, very good. I ask you to make random sounds. I ask you to sing, oh, make the sound, make that sound, like do, I, I don't always use, well I nearly never use Greek words to say lift the you know, I just, I yeah. like that. I say, Old lady. Uh -huh. <laughs> Old lady voice. Yeah, this voice. Or choo choo train. Choo choo train. I'll do roller coaster sometimes. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> which one of those is the best? Like, which like, one do you use the most? I like old lady. I use old lady the most for the mix of <laughs> We'll call it opera lady. Opera lady. It, it does, it works for the mixed voice because it brings the two registers yeah. together. What is that mixed voice thing? It's. <laughs> What is the next place? Good question. It's one thing that I have trouble reaching first of all because most, not most, just you. <laughs> yeah, most people have, I can barely hit my mixed range. I can either do high or low, but trying to get into that mixed voice where it's the in between, between your head voice and your chest voice, it's just very hard to hit. Mm -hmm. and especially when you're trying to belt it or just trying to sing it, it's very hard. Right, but once you get there, you can see it. Oh, once you get there, it's amazing. It yeah. sounds great. There's this nice smooth glide that you hit when you sing up there, and it's just kind of, ah, you just don't have to worry about it. Wait. <laughs> yeah, but you have to work up to it. Yeah, you gotta work really hard to get up to that. You gotta work up to it, and uh, it's no easy thing, but that's why you've stuck here so long, because you wanted to see it through. <laughs> wanted to learn how to do it. So we're there, and uh, so now where are we going? We are going. Right now, we're trying to work more on the high range, trying to get ready for the Burroughs auditions mm -hmm. in uh, high school show choir. The high school show choir, which is super stressful, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> we're not even close to the deadline. <laughs> <laughs> it's time we get started for that. But we have lots of uh, time we put in, mm -hmm. and uh, so you, you've definitely done the work, and now we're on to the next harder, bigger things, but now those are in front of us, and so those are the things we can conquer. Mm -hmm. Whereas before, we probably couldn't. Mm -hmm. We weren't ready for that. So what do you say to people that don't really know about taking lessons or they take lessons and then they go, oh, that's too hard, or I, I don't know, you know, talk to the people, that, <laughs> talk to some of the people that may or may not be, you know, 
into it? What would you say to them? I came into voice lessons not knowing a single thing about singing. I just liked the thought of it, so I was like, oh, that'd be fun to do. And then I got in here and I'm like, oh, this is very hard to do. And so I kind of got myself stuck here. <laughs> and <laughs> my parents would just tell me, they were just like, if we're going to do this, you're committing. There's no backing out. You're going for it. I'm like, I'm ready. I'm ready. I can do this. Which I'm very happy I did because I'm getting places I never thought I could go. So what encouragement can you give the singers out there for the future? What what, what do we tell them? How do we keep going when it's just so hard? Or I don't know. Or I'm not sure I have a voice. What do you say to that? You do. You definitely have the voice. I thought I couldn't sing high. And now I'm over here belting high. I'm from an alto to soprano. Back to an alto now. I thought I couldn't sing at all. And now I'm singing a bunch of notes and a bunch of things that I thought weren't even physically possible for me to <laughs> sing. <laughs> well, there you have it. That's Megan. Megan's in middle school. She's getting ready to go to getting ready to go to the high school show choir. And uh, I'm really proud of her for sticking with it and working hard. And any final thoughts or closing words for the people out there? You can do it, just believe. Just believe. <laughs> yeah. And that's Singer Stories with Megan. We'll see you next time. Let the voice out.